In the present video, we set forth on an illuminating exploration into the realms of numerology and synchronicities. This journey delves deeply into a mystical realm where numbers go beyond their fundamental quantitative functions, revealing themselves as symbols filled with metaphysical meaning. At the heart of our exploration is the philosophy of Pythagoras, the legendary Greek philosopher and mathematician renowned not only for his mathematical acumen, but also for his profound spiritual insights. Pythagoras advocated the belief that numbers are inherent to the fabric of reality, carrying symbolic significance that reaches far beyond their utilitarian role in counting and measurement. His teachings posited that numbers serve as symbolic representations of deeper universal truths. Pythagoras's groundbreaking perspectives laid the foundational principles of numerology, shaping it into the mystical system we recognize today. This unique system views numbers as keys to unraveling the mysteries of the universe and our individual places within it. Numerology provides an extraordinary lens through which we can interpret the world around us and gain insights into our personal lives and destinies. As we embark on this video, we encourage you to open your mind to the synchronicities and concealed messages woven into numbers, unveiling the wisdom and mystique that have fascinated philosophers, mystics, and spiritual seekers for centuries. 111. Intuition and Inner Calling The sequence 111 carries profound symbolism and significance in Pythagoras's view. It symbolizes intuition and inner guidance, indicating a potent alignment with one's core self or soul. This sequence serves as a call to heed internal cues over external influences, highlighting the importance of internal wisdom and self-guidance. Dolores Cannon's teachings offer a complementary perspective to this interpretation. She underscores the significance of aligning with one's higher self and the pivotal role of intuition in comprehending and aligning with one's life purpose. Her exploration of past life regression further reinforces this perspective, presenting the notion that our subconscious and intuition play a crucial role in unlocking deeper knowledge and understanding of our life's journey. According to Canon, encountering 111 acts is a powerful signal to trust the intuitive insights we receive, often messages from our higher self guiding us towards our true path. When faced with 111, it serves as a poignant reminder to trust in one's spiritual journey. This sequence underscores the importance of listening to and valuing one's inner wisdom, advocating for a profound trust in one's inner guidance system. It invites individuals to delve into deeper levels of self-awareness, hinting at the insights that can be gained through methods like past life regression. Seeing 111 is also often interpreted as a nudge to look beyond the surface of our conscious mind, exploring the vast and often uncharted territory of our subconscious for greater self-understanding and spiritual growth. 222. Overcoming Negativity The sequence 222 holds a significant place in the realms of numerology and metaphysical thought, particularly concerning overcoming negativity. From Pythagoras' perspective, this sequence serves as a crucial reminder to focus on eliminating worry and negative thoughts. He perceived these numbers as a call to action, urging individuals to shift their mindset from one dominated by fear and pessimism to a more positive and hopeful perspective. This perspective isn't just about dismissing negative thoughts but actively transforming them into constructive ones, fostering a mindset that favors optimism and resilience. Delving into Dolores Cannon's teachings adds another layer of depth to the significance of 222. Cannon emphasized the immense power of positive thinking and the law of attraction in shaping our individual realities. Her teachings suggest that our thoughts are not just fleeting mental occurrences, but powerful forces that can mold our experiences and influence our life paths. The recurrent appearance of 222 aligns seamlessly with this philosophy, serving as a tangible reminder of the power we hold within our minds. It's an encouragement to actively engage in positive thinking and to harness the law of attraction to bring about desired changes in our lives. Further expanding this insight, 
The occurrence of 222 can be seen as a call to introspection and mental transformation. It's an invitation to scrutinize our habitual thought patterns, particularly those that lean towards negativity and self-doubt. This sequence prompts a reassessment of our ingrained beliefs and assumptions, encouraging us to question and reframe the narratives we tell ourselves. This process is not just about adjusting thoughts on a surface level, but involves a profound transformation of our belief systems. It's about creating a mental landscape where positive thoughts and beliefs are not just present, but are the dominant forces that shape our perception and interactions with the world. 333-3, Mind, Body, and Spirit Balance. The number sequence 333, rich in symbolism and depth, speaks to the crucial balance among the mind, body, and spirit. Pythagoras saw this sequence as a representation of the harmonious interplay between these three core aspects of human existence. He emphasized that true wellness and fulfillment arise from nurturing each aspect equally, highlighting the interconnectedness and interdependence of our mental, physical, and spiritual well-being. In addition to this, Cannon's approach to holistic healing underscores the idea that our physical health is intimately linked with our mental state and spiritual awareness. Cannon viewed individuals as multidimensional beings where each dimension, physical, mental, and spiritual, plays a critical role in overall health and harmony. According to Cannon's perspective, 333 is seen as a powerful reminder of our multidimensional nature. She interpreted this sequence as a signal that the individual needs to pay equal attention to their mental, physical, and spiritual health. The appearance of 333 serves as a reminder of this holistic balance. It suggests that to achieve true harmony and fulfillment, one must give equal attention and care to the mind, body, and spirit. This sequence could indicate a need to reassess and realign our practices and beliefs in these areas ensuring that none are disproportionately emphasized or neglected. 444. Universal Protection, The Sequence 444 holds significant meaning in the realms of numerology and spirituality, particularly in the context of universal protection. Pythagoras interpreted this sequence as a symbol of protection and support from the universe. He believed that 444 carried with it an assurance of safety and guidance, a cosmic affirmation that the forces of the universe are aligning to offer support and shelter. Dolores Cannon's teachings on spirituality and metaphysics offer a complementary understanding of this number sequence. Cannon emphasized the presence and influence of spiritual entities in our lives, often unseen yet profoundly impactful. She spoke of guardian spirits and guides as sources of wisdom and protection, guiding us through life's challenges and helping us navigate our spiritual journey. The appearance of 444, therefore, is seen as a potent sign of spiritual protection and guidance. This sequence might be interpreted as an indication that guardian spirits or guides are close by, offering their wisdom and protection. In other words, the occurrence of 444 is a reminder of the unseen support we constantly receive from other realms. It's an assurance that we are not alone in our journey and that higher forces are at work providing guidance and support. 555. Embracing Transformation The numerical sequence 555 holds deep symbolism in embracing change and transformation. From Pythagoras's perspective, it signifies a significant shift and personal transformation. The ancient philosopher and mathematician perceived 555 as an indication of imminent changes, suggesting that the individual is on the verge of embarking on a profound journey of transformation, whether in external life circumstances or internal belief systems and attitudes. In contrast, Dolores Cannon's insights into the 555 sequence are grounded in her beliefs about the evolution of the soul and the pivotal role of change in spiritual growth. Cannon doesn't merely view change as an inevitable aspect of life, but as a vital, necessary process for the soul's progression and evolution. Her extensive exploration of past lives and the soul's journey underscores her belief that growth and enlightenment often emerge from the crucible of change even amidst challenges. Therefore, 
The manifestation of 555 can be interpreted as a compelling reminder of the universe's perpetual state of flux. This sequence signals that the changes we undergo are not random or arbitrary, but intricately aligned with the natural order of the universe and the soul's trajectory toward deeper understanding and evolution. It encourages us to welcome the unfolding changes in our lives not as disruptions or obstacles, but as valuable opportunities for growth, learning, and advancement on our spiritual journey. 6666 Self-Reflection and Personal Growth The numerical sequence, 666, frequently surrounded by misconceptions, holds significant meaning in the realms of self-reflection and personal growth. Pythagoras often regarded this number as an encouragement for reassessing one's actions and beliefs. He believed that 6666 prompts an introspective journey, urging individuals to critically evaluate their life choices, belief systems, and overall direction. In Pythagorean thought, this sequence serves as a call to align actions and beliefs with one's true self and higher principles. Dolores Cannon's teachings contribute an additional layer of understanding to this sequence. Her work extensively delved into shadow work and confronting inner fears and negative beliefs, themes that strongly resonate with the symbolism of 666. Cannon underscored the importance of acknowledging and addressing the darker, often neglected or suppressed aspects of our psyche. She posited that authentic personal growth and enlightenment arise through confronting and healing these shadow aspects, transforming them into wellsprings of strength and wisdom. Despite the often misunderstood connotations, the number 666 can be seen as an invitation for profound introspection and self-improvement. This sequence aligns with Canon's emphasis on comprehending and integrating the shadow aspects of oneself. It signifies a phase where addressing and working through personal fears, negative beliefs, and overlooked aspects of our psyche is pivotal for personal growth and spiritual advancement. 777. Inner Resilience and Spiritual Journey The numerical sequence 777 holds profound significance in the realms of inner resilience and spiritual exploration. Pythagoras often interpreted 777 as a symbol of inner strength and the spiritual journey. According to his perspective, this sequence symbolizes the deep inner resources we possess and the ongoing journey of our souls toward higher understanding and enlightenment. Dolores Cannon's teachings strongly resonate with this interpretation. Her extensive work in exploring the soul's journey and uncovering one's spiritual mission aligns seamlessly with the symbolism of 777. Cannon believed that each soul follows a unique path with specific lessons to learn and a distinct purpose to fulfill. Her teachings underscore the importance of connecting with one's deeper spiritual self to unveil this purpose and navigate the journey with awareness and intention. Encountering the sequence 777, therefore, can be seen as a sign to delve deeper into one's spiritual path. This number serves as a reminder of the need to connect with and draw upon our inner strength, as well as to seek a deeper understanding of our spiritual mission. It equates Canon's teachings on the soul's purpose and journey, emphasizing the significance of self-discovery and spiritual growth. 888. Harmony and Fullness The number sequence 888 rich in symbolism and depth, carries profound implications in the realms of harmony and fullness. From Pythagoras's viewpoint, this sequence represents the concept of abundance in its most holistic sense, encompassing not just material wealth, but a state of well-being that aligns with the rhythms and flows of the universe. Pythagoras saw 888 as a sign of harmonious balance, where all aspects of one's life resonate in sync with the universal energies. This alignment signifies a state where abundance flows naturally, not just in terms of material gains, but in all facets of existence, including emotional, intellectual, and spiritual dimensions. Expanding on this concept, Dolores Cannon's teachings offer a synergistic perspective on the symbolism of 8888, 
Her body of work, deeply rooted in metaphysics and the understanding of universal energy laws, directly speaks to the essence of this number. Cannon's teachings emphasize that true abundance is a result of being in alignment with the universe's vibrations. She illustrated that when individuals align their thoughts, actions, and energies with these cosmic laws, they open themselves up to the flow of abundance in its most expansive form. This abundance is not limited to financial prosperity, but extends to all areas of life, including health, relationships, and personal growth. Cannon also highlighted the importance of understanding and harnessing the laws of energy. She believed that our thoughts and intentions are powerful forces that shape our reality, and by consciously directing these energies, we can create a life of abundance and fulfillment. The appearance of 88888 in this context can be seen as a reminder of this power and a prompt to evaluate how well we are aligning with these universal principles. 999. Culmination and Fresh Beginnings the numerical sequence, 999, carries substantial symbolic significance in the context of culmination and new beginnings. Pythagoras, with his profound grasp of numbers and their meanings, regarded 999 as a symbol of culmination and readiness for new journeys. According to his interpretation, this sequence signifies the conclusion of a cycle, a juncture where certain aspects of life or stages of personal growth have reached their culmination. It marks a number that signals closure, but with an inherent promise of new beginnings and opportunities. Pythagoras viewed this as a moment for reflecting on past achievements and challenges, preparing for fresh adventures and explorations. Dolores Cannon's teachings align seamlessly with this perspective. She emphasized the cyclical nature of life and the universe, where endings are not final but gateways to new beginnings. In her exploration of metaphysical themes, Cannon stressed the importance of recognizing and embracing the end of a phase as an integral part of the soul's journey. According to her, every conclusion in our life's narrative brings with it the seeds of new starts, new lessons, and new paths. She viewed these transitions as critical moments for personal and spiritual growth, offering opportunities for reflection, learning, and evolution. The appearance of 9999, therefore, might signify the end of a significant phase in one's life. This sequence suggests a time for introspection and acknowledgement of the lessons and experiences gained. It's a reminder of the continuous cycle of life, where each ending paves the way for new experiences. The sequence 9999 calls for embracing the completion of one phase as an opportunity for growth, urging us to look forward to the new paths that lie ahead. It encourages a mindset where endings are seen not as losses, but as vital steps in the ongoing journey of the soul, each step filled with potential for karmic lessons and further progression on our spiritual path. Zero Thousand, Renewal and Unity. The numerical sequence, Zero Thousand is replete with symbolism particularly in the realms of new beginnings and the unity of the universe. Pythagoras commonly ascribed to zero or zero dozio, zero, the essence of new beginnings and a profound connection with the universe. In his perspective, this sequence represents the start of a new cycle, an opportunity to begin anew with a clean slate. It's a symbol that speaks to the infinite potential that arises at the beginning of any journey, embodying the concept of endless possibilities. Furthermore, Pythagoras saw zero zadur as a representation of unity, suggesting a harmonious connection with the universe and the underlying oneness that binds all existence. Complementing this view, Dolores Cannon's teachings reflect a deep understanding of the interconnectedness of all things and the limitless potential that the universe holds. Her work, which delves into the exploration of metaphysical realms and the higher self, highlights the idea that we are all interconnected parts of a greater whole. Cannon believes that every individual, every entity, is a vital component of the universe, and this interconnectedness means that the start of a journey for one is a moment of potential change for all. 
She emphasized the boundless opportunities for growth and exploration that the universe offers in encouraging an understanding of existence as a unified field of possibilities. Encountering the sequence 000, therefore, could be interpreted as a sign of a fresh start. It resonates with Canon's concepts of the unity of existence and the endless opportunities that the universe provides for growth, learning, and exploration. This sequence is a powerful reminder of our interconnectedness with the cosmos and the infinite potential that each new beginning holds. In conclusion, our exploration into the realms of numerology and synchronicities has unveiled a mystical world where numbers transcend their basic roles, revealing profound metaphysical significance. These sequences offer guidance in areas ranging from intuition and inner calling to overcoming negativity, achieving mind-body-spirit balance, experiencing universal protection, embracing change, engaging in self-reflection and growth. In this journey through numerology, may the sequences be not just numbers, but comforting whispers from the universe guiding you towards a path of love, growth, and interconnected joy. Embrace the enchantment within each sequence and allow the brilliance of these insights to light up your soul's path.